Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to go over top five mutant characters in Marvel Contest of Champions. So, let's just jump into it. Number five, starting us off. We got my boy, who is not really my boy, but Havoc. If I were this dude, I'm going to take him up to this rank two as a six star, but this dude is insane. Like, the raw damage off just the special three this guy can get is insane. You build up his plasma charges. So he's, in, he's immune to all forms of incinerate. So he's good for like Mephistos and incinerate nodes and stuff. And basically, every time you strike him with a critical hit, he gains charge up to his 10 plasma charges. And then once he gets 10 in himself, he starts putting them on the enemy. And that's 10 of the plasma detonation. Uh, pl 10 of the plasma charges for himself, and then 10 on the enemy. And if you put it, throw a heavy attack. He puts a, where is it, heavy attack, yeah, one charge and a heavy attack. You convert two plasma charges, so one new, into a prowess, so making your special attacks do more damage, and then it basically um, places a, deb a feedback debuff on the opponent for 10 seconds, and for every charge you have on them, it does energy damage, so for example, my 6 star rank 1, I think when he's there at ten, around 10 charges and a heavy attack, they take like 1500 damage a tick or something like that or something pretty high like that and basically what we're going to do with this guy is just build up to a special three and then launch it and it does massive damage can go over like a hundred thousand easily and another thing that makes this guy pretty cool is his mediums don't make contact so he's a perfect cord counter and all that so yeah havoc overall number five pretty sick character really just high damage special three boy get your special three most fights are pretty much over number four spot a pretty old champion actually but archangel this guy i mean people say he fell out of the meta but with the lines for it now you can see the nodes they're not like um they're not what's it called they're not um have like the question mark on them anymore you can actually see so if you can plan your fights so if, if you have a lane in a lines war that you know archangel if you look at the lane and the defense looks like they are all fights archangel which is beast through he's still one of the best characters if they're bleed or poison if they're not bleed or poison i mean um if they're I mean, neither. This guy is arguably always one of the fastest per times to kill. And what makes this guy insane is just the raw damage when you um you want to just parry heavy, get the bleeds on, and then for every bleed you have in the opponent, there's a 25% chance to put a poison. So if you have four bleeds, 100% chance to put a poison on block when they hit your parry. And then you heavy attack again, and if you apply a bleed when you have a poison, you put a neurotoxin in them, which is a passive debuff. That does a crap ton of damage every tick. And basically, once you get into a certain SIG level, once you get three neurotoxins, it's pretty much 100% ability accuracy reduction and all regen on the target. You only need one neurotoxin for the heal block, but... So basically, you verse the magic, you say. Just do a few heavies, you get three neurotoxins up, so never trigger limbo, never do any of that stuff. And basically, if they're, bleed or po if they're not bleed or poison immune, if they're not immune to either... And this guy will just destroy them so quickly. He also counters like nodes that he probably shouldn't be like. There's a path. There's a lane in like six point. I think it's six point one. Just the very first quest in six point one point one. And I think the node is like if you swipe back twice, and you get a degen on you. But I used Archangel for this, and he got three no toxins. I could swipe back as many times as I want, and I was never getting the degen. So yeah, Archangel, he's just a beast. He'll block God. I mean, the neurotoxins just destroy everything so quickly. And yeah, that's why he's in number four. Number three, two and one were a lot closer, I'd say. Number three, I'm going to have to go with Domino, though. Domino is just, like, for any new um, person playing the game, this is like, you take her up as your first rank five. She's one of the best characters to take as your first rank five. She just does so much damage she her crit chance is ridiculously high and her crit damage is ridiculously high what is it like let's see yeah crit rating is like 30 percent crit damage is 200 percent it's insane her um hits you with so much damage and then she what is the mm, her another good thing about her is you don't need to have her awaken so you know you just pull her from a crystal she's already insane damage wise and where is it where the hell is it? Okay, so... Okay, I don't know where it is, but it basically says every time you get a bleed on her, she has a 50% chance to shrug it off, which is insane. And when you launch a special one, two, or three, you have a chance to get a crit bleed if you're 
lucky at the time. And if you get the crit bleed, this bleed, literally, with the special three, if you get it on the opponent, can do like 5,000 a tick, so like 10,000 a second. It's literally insane. But that's not even a, that's not even our highest damage point. Our highest damage point, you put her with the, where is it? Massacre and Red Hulk um, synergy. And basically, so for Domino with Massacre, debuffs last one second longer, and then that goes with Red Hulk, so heavy attacks inflicts an incinerate that deals damage equal to that of the heavy over two seconds. So it's basically three seconds now. And also with the one second long stun, you can get a seven hit combo in, or eight hit combo really, because she has a six hit combo normally. You can get like a double medium, and then, and then the full six combo. So basically a nine hit combo really. And you just parry heavy with this, a rank five domino, like everything's dead within seconds. Like these incinerates, these bombs she drops are just insanely powerful. There's a there's a node in I think it's six point it's Act Six, Chapter One, and then like I think the final quest. There's a lane that's all or nothing. It's like around like a hundred seventy, two hundred thousand health opponents. Dude, you just do a few heavies. These fights are dead before even they get to the special three. She just destroys everything. Domino, just a crazy damage dealer. Some of the highest in the game. And she's one of the best choices for 100% Labyrinth if you don't have Aegon. With the synergy, she always hits the parries. Final two. Hard to say, um, but this one goes to... Number two goes to Namor, I'd say. Namor, this guy is a beast. I mean, what makes this guy good pretty much is just his awakened ability. The only thing that kind of sucks is you kind of eat him at like max dupe level, which is basically every time you're taking a damage over time debuff on you or something. While you're hitting the opponent, the damage is 100% reflected onto them, and you don't take any of it. So say you're doing like a um, like a degen, like a node that says like you degen 100% of your health over 60 seconds. You hit him constantly, you just none of the degens doing any damage to you. And if you're running suicide, which is great for at the beginning of every fight when you hit him, you're gonna be they're gonna be taking your suicide damage while you're hitting them, and you're just gonna be healing from willpower. You won't be taking anything, so you can get a heal pretty much always using him. When you throw his specials, you get 3% of your missing health back. It was 6, but then they're nerfing it. And basically what we want to do with this guy is just get to his Imperious Rex, which is 30 charges. And his medium attacks have a 30% chance to inflict bleed. And if it doesn't trigger, then you get a um, like a charge, an outrage charge, I think it's called. It could be wrong. Once you get to 30, you get to Imperious Rex. And when you throw a heavy in Imperious Rex, you get a bar power back. So what people do is they get to like 29 charges. They'll launch their special 3, which... And, um, Activates Imperious Rex, which gives him a three. Where is it? Outrage, outrage. Imperious Rex. Where is this? Don't know where it says it. Could have missed it. But basically, when Imperious Rex activates, you get a three hundred percent passive Fury buff. So it can't be like um, it's not a buff. It can't be nullified. It's a passive. Three hundred percent attack, and you can get to a special three, launch it. You'll be at like twenty nine charges, and then you hit it into them really quickly. And when you hit 30 charges again, Imperious Rex, you get a second Outrage, or you get a second Imperious Rex. And then right when you get into that one, you have two Furies. They come at you, you parry heavy, go up to your special three again, launch three special attacks. You have 900% attack, and then you just launch your special two. And those fights are just dead. This thing can easily do over like 500,000 damage. The only problem is Abyss and uh, put it like a damage cap, so it kind of sucks. But basically, this guy can do massive damage, and... And reflect all damage given to him pretty much while attacking. So yeah, he's pretty much a beast. But yeah, there is one character I would say who's probably just better. Omega Red. I might get a lot of hate for this. He's number one on my list, but I genuinely don't like playing him. His playstyle is not for me. Basically, all you this guy you need suicides. You just kind of do. You need suicides. So when you have a bleed on you, he has. Where is it? Death Factor. Uh, where is it? Okay, yeah. Death Field. While Omega Red is bleeding, he emits the Death Field. And when the Death Field is active, you, you're putting spores in the enemy. So naturally, over time, if you're close to them, you're putting spores in them. You can go all the way up to 30. And when you have, and if you swipe back, they fade off if you're not near the enemy. But if you heavy attack, you put down a degen. When you have this degen, the spores don't go down. So you can build up to 30. And while you have the bleed on you, each spore is taking... It's each the spore and the degen is taking for thousands of damage. Most fights just drop super quickly. Omega Red, he was losing a lot of bit of like his usability in six point three because the health pools are too big and it struggle people are struggling to use him. 
The reason I'm putting them so number one is because if you look at stuff like this, like right now it's kind of hard to use them, but if you look at people like, if this one's to load, what is it, Tiger Woof? This guy, with the introduction of Abyss, okay, come on, come on, game, this game's. With the in introduction of Abyss, you can only get rank three six stars. So, rank three six star Mega Red, I mean, this guy is having like, same thing with Corvus, people say Corvus fell off. Now that people have rank three Corvuses and stuff, like Corvus, he, he they're gonna be fine. Him and Omega Red are gonna be fine in six point three. That when well, they didn't have enough reach before, now they're gonna have enough reach because they're rank three. So yeah, Omega Red. He also his tentacle hits. Where is it? Omega Red's tentacle hits, which is just mediums, don't make contact. So once again, good cord counter, one of the best. And then when you use your special one, um, you take some of the spores off and you get a heal. Same thing with the special three, you get a heal from it. Special 2, he reactivates Death Field, and he's naturally poison immune, and he's 90% bleed immune, so he's amazing for suicides, because you don't get the poison, and the bleed barely does any damage. So in the beginning of every fight, you basically had a heal. So yeah, all these things together just makes Omega Red out to the king of the mutants. I mean, I hate playing him, but I know people love him, and yeah, he's just deserving. I would say he's definitely deserving the number one spot in the mutant class. A few honorable mentions were... Sunspot, I think he's a close sixth place behind Havoc or Colossus. He just got buffed. He's also really good. Yeah, I mean, they're both really good, but I don't think they're quite top five. Sunspot and Havoc are pretty similar, but I think the thing that makes Havoc better is the he doesn't make contact with his mediums, so you can use him against Electros and just like double medium only, and you won't take any damage. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.